Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again for another Pro Tools video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This time we're getting into loop playback. This is part of the Pro Tools Basics series. I'm doing a bunch of short ones. All right, so to loop playback, very easy to do. There's a few ways to enable it. First, you want to go in Pro Tools, go to the Options menu, and make sure that loop playback is enabled, the check next to it. Not to be confused with loop record, but loop playback should be enabled. And then make a, t uh, a selection in the timeline, and it will loop that selection. Let me make a small one so you can see it loop. Okay, and you notice the selection that I made there was not really a, a nice round loop. So you want to make some effort in making the selection, um, you know, a, a round number of bars, unless you want to select otherwise. But in this case, I set my uh, Pro Tools to grid mode, and I made a selection exactly two bars long so that when it loops, it's, you know, a nice musical loop. Now this works in grid mode if you've uh, recorded your track to a grid. If not, you may have to go in there and actually look at the waveform. I use the drums track to uh, to make my selection if I don't have a, a grid enabled and uh, so that I can actually see the waveforms. But here's a couple of shortcuts to enable loop um, loop playback, and I've got them written down here because I can't remember them all. There's so many. All right, so first of all, we went into the options menu and enabled loop playback. On a Mac, it's Shift Command L. On a PC, Windows machine, it's Control Shift L will enable that. And what you want to look for, I've got my transport visible at the top of the edit window. If you don't see that up here, Go to the upper right corner of your Pro Tools edit window and click on this little menu up here and enable transport and expanded transport. I put it up there so that I don't have the floating window, but you can also do it the same thing in the floating transport window. And you notice when loop playback is enabled, you get the little loop around the play button. You can also enable or disable that by right clicking on that and there's loop get the little menu so loop playback is disabled now I can right click choose loop uh, another shortcut to do that on a Mac is control click directly on the play button in the floating transport window or up here in the at top of the edit window transport control click on a Windows machine that is start click on the play button and that will enable it um, so those are the shortcuts. One thing to keep in mind, uh, in mind though, there's one setting that may, um, you know, make you lose your selection, and that is this insertion follows playback button. When that is disabled, my loop will maintain even though I stop playback, and next time I start, it will resume on that same loop selection. However, if that's enabled, when I start playback and then stop, I lose the selection and the cursor lands at the location where I stop playback, which is sometimes handy. You want the playback, the cursor to follow and stop, uh, place itself at the place that you um, stopped playback. But if you're looping on audio, you probably want to turn that off. And it's right under your smart tools and or the shortcut to turn that off is the N key if you've got your A to Z button lit over there. And that's part of another video that we'll get into. Uh, hopefully that's help, helpful to you. Thank you and see you next time.